it's so poofy now, guys. Like, it's Friday. It should be sunny and pretty and make you wanna, when you wanna go out and do things other than be at work like I am. Yeah. So, maybe weird vlogging at work. But it's Friday and all that good stuff and um, I just got here. Hold that thought. Oh, we're not even technically open yet. Okay, um, ooh, shaky hand. There, there. Alright, so while I'm doing my morning duty, I figured I'd just, I'd just talk to you guys. Um, I'm not gonna do a weekend vlog this week. Um, I honestly have like such a boring lifestyle today or this weekend that I'm just like, I need sleep if you can't tell with the bags in my eyes and stuff. I need sleep. That's what I'm going to be doing this weekend, is sleeping. But today, I'm going to go to a place called Shields, I think is what it's called, or pronounced, or whatever. I've never been there. It's supposed to be a sporting goods store, but my boss gave me, or gave me a bonus, and it was a gift card there, and they have, like, aquariums, and apparently a Ferris wheel, and all this good stuff, so I'm kind of actually excited about it. So we're gonna go there today. It's supposed to be a huge, huge store, and I figured I'd do like a follow me around thing. I don't think I've ever vlogged in public while speaking. Um, I don't know if I'll do that or not, but we'll see. It depends on how packed it is or what they're like if they try to stop me from recording because some places are like sticklers about recording and, and stuff. But I figured I'd do that, and then, um, yeah. So, yeah. I figured I'd do like a follow me around thing versus a whole weekend thing. It might be fun, I don't know. Um, I'm kind of excited about it. Now I'm just like rolling around in my chair. Like, Wah! But yeah, so. Yep, I just thought I would do an intro here because I tend to not do intros and it bugs the crap out of me when I'm editing them. I'm like, I could have spoken here. But I, I'll talk to you guys in the car maybe. I don't know. I don't know where we're going, so I might need my GPS. So if that happens, I don't know, like, the, the recording thing's upside down. It does this all the time. I don't understand it. <sighs> but yeah, I decided to do just this half recording thing, making sure my boss is not here. <laughs> because, um, I don't know, I've been kind of, uh, I've been feeling poopy, been under the weather, my face broke out because I've been under the weather, and it kind of sucks, face being always really sucks. That's part of life and being human and all that kind of good stuff. And then, um, I've been incredibly stressed out, to be honest with you. Like, my my whole, like, persona is always like, oh yeah, be happy, woohoo! And then, like, this whole week I've just been, like, on the edge of, like, snapping. Just, yeah, just, I've been, um, I've been really, really stressed out with work and then bills and then two of my employees are fighting all the time over at my other job and... It's like, guys, you don't have to like each other to work with each other. You just have to work with each other. But, like, yeah, two of my employees are fighting all the time around me, and it's just, it's it's kind of stressful. So, I've been a little stressed out. I've been having to, like, do my entire job in the span of, like, three hours, and it's not a three-hour job, and I'm just, and then I hear, like, oh, you only got this done? And I'm like, I only have three hours to get this done, because I'm half days now. I don't recommend being half and half at the same job in two different locations. It kind of just kind of stresses you out, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, I just figured I'd share this a little bit with you guys because you know I'm only human and I always try to show like good things from the channel and stuff. And I don't wanna like put bad things on this channel ever. Like YouTube thing which still is happening and still bugs the crap out of me. That's a continuous problem. That affects everybody. Not just me, but I figured, you know, vlogs are a way to let you guys know that I am a person. I'm human, I'm not a robot. <sighs> I am not a robot. I am just so tired. <laughs> um, but yes. So, there's that. Um, I don't know where I was going with this in the vlog anymore. Like, I 
feel like I start the vlogs and I'm like, I don't remember where I was going with this conversation. I was going somewhere. I had a point. But now I don't remember. Oh, YouTube. You know what sucks about YouTube? Is that I feel like some of you guys have stopped commenting because your comments keep getting deleted and then I don't see them or I reply to them and you don't see my reply. And I'm just kind of like, I want to I wanna talk to your faces down in the comments and I can't do that. And then YouTube's messing up with views now, and like literally I had a video that had I think 47 views and 30 likes. Now, being on part of YouTube for about two years or whatever, um, I've learned that, that likes and views never equal out, like ever. Like there's no possible way, so it's way too close to equaling out to me to know that the views are screwed up. And like, I don't know, it's just some videos too. Like Zombie did really well. It had like 100 views on it or whatever. And then like it had 30 likes. Like that to me is okay. But it's still weird. I think I got more views on that too. I don't know, I just wish YouTube would figure themselves out. They have plenty of money. They're Google for Christ's sake. Like there's no reason. There's just no reason. Oh, there it goes again. My voice is starting to sound blah. And recording videos has been a challenge this week because not only am I working really, really late and really, really hard to get my stuff done in the time span that I have, so I'm shaking you guys. I'm also going to record videos at night because I had so much stuff going on last weekend that I just did not have time to record any videos. <sighs> so I picked a horrible week to do this on. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the car when we go to Shields or whatever. Bye! whether or not this is a sports story. Gobble till you wobble. Babe, do you gobble till you wobble? Yeah. Tricky. Look though, look. It's behind you. Oh, oh. Oh. It is right for people to alter or to abolish and to institute new government. Look, oh, Ferris wheel. Guys, it's literally a personal uh, pet peeve. Anyways, it's a, literally a personal pet peeve that people put um, Christmas decorations up before Halloween's done. Isn't it, babe? I rage so much. <laughs>
close. Now we are where I can be at. The only kids section in the store. I love this movie. And the store manages to disappoint me with its Christmas stuff. It's not even Halloween. This is what I'm talking about. This is the reason why we came here. So many different smells. But look at this clock, guys. It's literally in three parts. Isn't that cool? It also has a really cool price. Let me show that to you. Rainbow shoes. Need these in my life, babe. Go get them. Not for $100. I do like their shoes. I have this thing for athletic shoes now. I don't know what it is. But they're just so pretty. Because they're so colorful. Ooh, look at the lights. I want that in my living room. Can we get the bubble lights? I found some boots with the fur. I don't I kind of like all these. These remind me of Legends all the. Oh yeah, they're they are cat boots. <laughs> they look good. Don't they remind you of Link? Yeah. I don't know. It might just be the buckles. They have a really linky price too. Ooh, these are pretty. I, I need to get away from here. If only. I would love a GoPro. GoPros. We we're gonna get one of these. I don't know which one. I'm, I'm leaning towards the zombie one, but the zombie one has a zombie price. And then I'm leaning towards this one because it's cheaper. And then we might go get fetch. I don't know. out to. Just poopy weather. It was sunny, babe. It was sunny. Was. What happened? Was. I was gonna take a picture with those, the statue things. Not no more. I can't take it off. Sorry guys. Um, that was probably awkward. Like, mm, mm. Um, so on Facebook, you know, she's like, I'm just gonna move you down. But it wouldn't go down. I was like, nope. I'm right here in the middle of your video. No one else can see it but you. Anyways, I didn't do an exit video, but I have a good reason. Excuse the hot mess today. All right, it's technically Saturday night. I filmed on Friday afternoon. All right, the last video that you guys saw was rain, just pouring down rain. So me and my husband's like, you know, or my husband's like, I'll go get the car. You stay in the, you stay in the shelter and all that good stuff. Well, I am the kind of person that's like, no, if you run in the rain, I'm going to run in the rain. I mean, I'm just, we'll share the misery together. So, okay, we're running in the rain and stuff, and about halfway through, I figure out that I dropped my phone. So, run back. It was in a puddle. In a curb where the runoff goes. And I'm lucky it wasn't ran over. It was only for like two seconds, but pouring down rain, raining cats and dogs. So my phone is in a puddle. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Just kidding. I gave it light and it was like, nope, nope, just kidding. Um, so, I, I, I grab it out of the water, we run back to the car, and I get in the car, and it's making this god awful gurgling noise. So I turned it off. I was like, okay, I'll just turn it off, we'll put it, we'll do something with it, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's not exactly waterproof. So I was like, my phone, my biggest worry was the fact that um, I record everything on my phone, like all my vlogs and stuff, so I was like, th that entire vlog I just, I just filmed is gone. Not to mention any kind of other vlog I wanna film in the future is gone until I can pay my uh, deductible for my phone, for the insurance to get a new phone. 
I was like, oh my god. Yeah, so I'm freaking out about that. So yesterday, I don't, I think we were just getting like a whole bunch of bad karma because we're about to get a bunch of good karma. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. So that happened. And like, while I was in there, or where was I going with this? So we, we left, we left. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna put my phone off, you know, whatever, plug it in because it's almost dead anyway. And then, you know, figure things out from there. And well, we're driving down the road, and like we were on the highway, traffic started slowing down, so we slowed down, and the car behind us didn't. And so we got rear ended. And I, like, at the time I was talking to my mom on my husband's phone, because my phone's out of commission. I was telling her that. I was like, Mom, you know, my phone's out of commission, or just let me know, because we're all on the same phone plan. And I was like, um, you know, blah, 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 or, you know, I would pay for my own phone anyway, I've been doing that forever. Actually, I added my mom to our plane. Anyways, um, so I was just telling her, because I was venting, I was really angry. And so she was on the phone, and then all she hears is me yelp, and then nothing. Because when we got rear-ended, like, it was like this, it was such a hard hit, it scared the shit out of me. Like, I was startled. Nothing was wrong, nothing was damaged, nothing was like we were fine I was just it scared the crap out of me like I thought it was like playing like a game or a jump scare like jumped at me and I just like screamed or whatever that's what I felt like and that made me realize that in my life I've played too many video games anyways so I've been I was frantically looking for the only phone that um, we currently have operating because mine stopped operating like 10 minutes before and so I'm like I'm looking in the front seat because it was out of my hand it fell out of my hand I'm like mom Stay on the phone, I'm coming back. And so the guy comes to the door and he's like, are you guys okay, whatever. And he has like this giant cut on his forehead, he's bleeding, it's raining, pouring cats and dogs. My husband gets out of the car, looks at the damage. And I'm still looking for the phone, it takes five minutes, look behind me, and there it is in the fucking backseat. Just sitting there like, hey, we're over here, but you're looking for me, I'm over here. So I, I get the fuck on the phone like, well, I'm tired and blah, 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 you know, that kind of stuff. She was freaking out, which I can understand, because being on the phone with someone while they're in a car accident is so scary, especially if you can't hear them afterwards. <sighs> Literally no damage to our car. Zip. Zero. Looked at our car, looked at it a few times, got the guy's information. His Mini Cooper didn't, it just didn't. It was like, smashed. But our car only had paint on it and we just like wiped it off. That's it. And I was like, okay, well, um, uh, thank you for this uh, little jump scare, I guess. <laughs> because that's all it was. But So then when I got home, because you know, okay, well, after the car accident, my phone, I guess, bumped something or another and went into um, an error has occurred, factory void, or warranty voided. And then it was like downloading hard reset. And I was like, no, my videos, my videos, my pictures, everything. I was more concerned with my videos because I'm a little obsessive with the YouTube thing. So it's like all those videos that I recorded the day before and that day, and I was like, no. So we rush over to T Mobile. Me and my husband are soaking wet, like just soaking wet. By this point, it's cleared up though. I was like, well, thank you, weather, for only raining when we had a car accident. So we rush over to T-Mobile, the girl, like, we wait there for like 30 minutes or whatever because they're busy and we're soaking and we're cold and the girl just comes over, presses two buttons, re um, soft, resets it, and was like, oh, it turned on for you. And I'm just like, you couldn't have done this when we walked in. Like, you literally are the person who writes down our names. You could have done this when we walked in. It was cold, so we went, got dinner, and then came home, changed into PJs. Oh. And then so, I, oh, I put my phone in a bag of rice overnight because I, I was just like, oh. It's wet, and it, it, it was making noises when I turned it back on. So I just put it in the bag of rice, and obviously it worked because I'm recording this video. <sighs> so that is why I didn't put an ending to my last vlog or video. I was like, I, I was just like, this is a chain of unfortunate events. What have, what have we done in this? And then I think, and then, like, well, that's what I was thinking. I was like, what did I do to rack up such bad karma? Because I had a crappy day at work. I had an argument with one of my coworkers, or my employees, or whatever. 
and then um, my phone fell on water, and then soon after we got a car accident. So I was like, huh, why? Why? Because if your phone falls in water, I don't know if this is for everybody, but you're the source of the problem, that is your fault, you have to pay $150 for that to be fixed. And I'm just kind of like, I don't even have money. I just don't even have money for that. So I was like, that was, like that, was, that was my theme for all yesterday, it was just fun. So, I was thinking, what did they do to rack up such bad karma that this, this happened? And then I realized that it probably wasn't racking up bad karma, it was probably balancing it. I believe, okay, I'm a very strange person. I think karma happens. I think if you do bad in your life, you're gonna get bad things happen to you, and it's karma. That's why I'm like, just karma, bitch. But, um, so I was like, I went through the day, I was like, you know what, maybe something good will happen. And then I went out to dinner with my dad today, and he's like, oh, by the way, I know it's short notice, but it's a spur of the moment thing. Me and me and my girlfriend, or me and Cheryl, are going to get married, and it's gonna be this weekend, and we're inviting you guys, but we know it's short notice, and I was just like, ding, 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 good karma. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. And then, you know, he's like, um, it's gonna be out of town, and all that kind of stuff, and I was just like, I get paid. If I can pay all the bills and still go, I'll go. So, I'm thinking that's what this all was about. I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, because I really don't want to miss that. But yeah, so next weekend I'm going to a wedding. And I'm going to bring you guys along, because we're going to Eureka Springs, Arkansas. And um, for those out of country people, we're, we're smack dab in the middle. I think Arkansas is kind of like over here. It's like four hours. But uh, we're gonna do a haunted hotel tour, which is gonna be fun. And they have like a whole bunch of little shops and stuff, which will be fun to film. And we're gonna stay down there for like two days or whatever, whatever we can afford at the time. It's only a four hour drive, so we can just drive back. We can't afford it anymore. But it's gonna be fun. And I thought, oh, another car trip. I like doing car trip videos. They suck to edit, but they're fun to record. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> I feel like I've talked so long. This was supposed to be like a. a 10 minute video tops. And now because of my long spiel, it's gonna be like a 15 minute, 20 minute video. But I don't think you guys know. So. Anyways, that is the FaceTime for this week. <sighs> I feel like my whole weekend started off crappy, but I'm not gonna let it keep being crappy. I'm going to record a bunch of stuff, I'm not doing anything interesting for this weekend. That's the movie, we saw The Scorch Trials, which is the sequel to The Maze Runner. Really, 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 really like the Maze Runner movie. I'm not, I don't care for the books too much. I think it's just the writing style. But I really like the Maze Runner movie, and The Scorch Trials wasn't bad. It was just, it wasn't bad, it was just, if you didn't read the book, because the, the first one was just like action, 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 if you didn't read the book, it's fine. And I feel like the middle one was kind of like, um, filler story, in a way. <sighs> that was my opinions and all that good stuff, so yeah. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I have some recording to do, and it's late, so.